Today, in this lecture, we are going to talk about tapetic bladder. Tapetic bladder occurs due to a condition known as tabes dorsalis, which is basically caused by a bacterial infection known as syphilis, which is very much common. Now, tabes, uh, tapetic bladder is basically a type of atonic bladder. As we discussed previously in atonic bladder, that the fibers, the nerve fibers, which takes the sensation, which takes the sensation from the spinal, uh, from the urinary bladder towards the spinal cord, if they are damaged, it results in atonic bladder. Now, it, this, this damage of the nerve fibers, which basically takes the sensory sensation from the urinary bladder to the spinal cord, this damage can most commonly occur due to crush injuries in accidents, but it can also occur occur due to some infections like for example syphilis which leads to fibrosis around dorsal root ganglion around the spinal cord which is a condition known as tabes dorsalis and due to that type of injury the bladder condition is known as taptic bladder which is similar to atonic bladder. Now to understand it fully you must uh, know about the micturition reflex. We have discussed micturition reflex and atonic bladder in detail but we will summarize it quickly. To understand it properly, you must watch the previous videos to understand the concept of micturition reflex in atonic bladder. Now, what happens is that the is the urine in the urinary bladder accumulates. Suppose, for example, this is urinary bladder, and urine is accumulating in the urinary bladder. Is the volume of is the volume of urine in the urinary bladder is increasing? The pressure, the pressure in the urinary bladder is also increasing. Now, this pressure, this baseline pressure, is the basal pressure which keeps on increasing. Suppose, for example, if there is two hundred ml of urine in the urinary bladder then there will be a certain level of pressure but if it increases to 400 ml then the pressure will definitely increase but on top of that there is an acute contraction process there is a process in which contraction of the urinary bladder occur for a while for example a minute or two and then it settles down now this contraction occurs at every level at 200 ml of urine at 300 and 400 but as the volume of urine in the urinary bladder increases these contraction known as the micturition waves or the micturition contractions they keep on increasing they not only increase in the frequency but they also increase in their strength and power so the pressure in the urinary bladder basically keeps on increasing it keeps on increasing as the urinary volume is the volume in the urinary bladder increases but on every level at every level of pressure there are some contraction waves in which the urinary bladder starts contracting for a while and then settle down these waves are called micturition waves or micturition contractions which basically leads to urination process this basically these micturition waves or micturition contraction which is necessary for the urine urination process they are caused by micturition reflex micturition reflex basically is uh, started with the help of the sensory stretch receptors especially in the posterior urethra so this is suppose for example the posterior urethra they are present throughout the bladder but especially sensitive area is the posterior urethra now these receptors when get stretched due to the urine coming through the ureters they send basically signals to the spinal cord and the spinal cord sends signal back to the urinary bladder through the parasympathetic motor nerve and the urinary bladder starts contracting so the urine in the bladder is detected with the help of sensory stretch receptors these receptors send signals to the spinal cord spinal cord send motor signals to the urinary bladder and the urinary bladder starts contraction and the contraction looks like this if the volume is less the contraction is less and the power is also less but if the volume in the urine um, urinary bladder increases the contraction process the contraction waves and their strength keep on increasing so these nerves these nerve fibers which basically takes the signal from the urinary bladder to the spinal cord and then they bring the command of the spinal cord towards the urinary bladder they are very much necessary because they act as, they act as the pathways now if these pathways are damaged if these pathways are damaged urine will keep on accumulating urine will be coming in the urinary bladder but the sensations the sensation will not be transferred or sent to the spinal cord because these pathways have been damaged now normally these pathways are damaged with in crush injuries or any firearm injury or accident which causes damage to the spinal cord around the sacral region but in tabes dorsalis or in syphilis in syphilis or tabes dorsalis so basically syphilis is the bacterial infection caused by a bacteria treponema and it leads to a condition tabes dorsalis in which the fibrosis of the dorsal root ganglion occur and this causes basically damage to the nerve fibers which are taking signals from the urinary bladder to the spinal cord now damage of the nerve fibers due to tabes dorsalis leads to an atonic bladder which is known as taptic bladder so 
Tapetic bladder is basically the disruption of the nerve fibers which are taking signals from the urinary bladder to the spinal cord due to tabes dorsalis and tabes dorsalis in itself is basically caused by syphilis. So that's all about tapetic, tapetic bladder which is basically caused by tabes dorsalis which is basically conditioned due to syphilis. Thanks a lot for watching the video.